greetings from wherever you are watching us from i hope you are enjoying our videos i hope they're inspirational i hope they are transformative and i also believe that it's shaping you on how you are viewing dairy farming previously today we continue with the dairy farm startup and a revamp strategies and today i want us to focus on mechanization we did a video for you on human resource management i believe that the video at least gave you a different perspective of how a dairy farm workers and also generally the dairy farm should be looked from a human resource perspective mechanization is there to help you as a farmer to make work more easier for your employees and to improve on efficiency and for also to improve the efficiency of how you get our videos click on that red button subscribe so that you are automatically alerted whenever we upload the video it's also good for you to like our video and leave a comment there Mechanization can be viewed from a very sophisticated way and it can be viewed on a very simple way. So if you are starting your dairy farm, look at the basic mechanization that can help you as easy as appreciating that maybe when you look at the milk production aspect, as simple as looking at it, if you have 30 cows, five cows producing 25 liters and above or even 20 liters and above and you have one employee it means that person will spend more than 12 minutes milking one cow meaning milking the five cows a single milking session will take at least one hour if you milk three times it means you spend three hours in a day milking in our recent uh, farm visit on a request by someone who emailed us and we visited his farm we realized milking takes every single milking takes two hours hand milking takes two hours the farmer milks three times a day meaning out of 24 hours in a day six hours are spent milking the cows that's almost uh, that's almost uh, almost 30 percent of the time is spent on milking in this particular case by mechanization that farmer can reduce from two hours per milking spent uh, two hours in a day spent on milking can be reduced to 42 minutes or 45 minutes that's a saving of more than 80 minutes so mechanization is just as simple as that so when you're starting your dairy farm look on areas that you can mechanize milking is one of them we talked about for the production you don't have to own a tractor to say that you have mechanized it's as simple as even owning that uh, electric uh, that motorized uh, pump like recently uh, this is my own experience myself i can comfortably spray five acres within six hours using a motorized pump this one has saved the labor for me because initially i'll have like five people to do the spraying but now i can do it myself alone if you are two of us in the five acres within three hours we are all done two of us so and it also matters on it, it's just a small thing and by that having motorized pump knapsack sprayer it means i'm using lesser chemicals i'm using lesser a, a labor cost and using lesser water it becomes more it becomes more efficient for me mechanization is as simple as having a recording device uh, uh, having a recording software maybe the milk record softwares uh, the general farm record software accounting software 
it's as simple as that so you don't just look at mechanization from a very big perspective but you can look at it from a small pers- from a simplistic perspective having uh, long ago people years back people would use a panga as simple as having that chaff cutter and a chaff cutter is barely 35 40000 by owning that one you are mechanizing your system but also a question is raised on how you make sure the mechanization is more efficient also have like when you have machineries make sure that you observe something like uh, the repair and maintenance uh the regular servicing etc etc look at dairy farming on the simplest way we can mechanize and also in future as the herd grows how you can keep on advancing in terms of mechanization mechanization can save you a big time in a recent uh before i even talk about that one look at the services mechanized services that you can outsource and they're pocket friendly like for me for the longest time uh, i've been outsourcing a tractor driven chopping machine to chop my maize it has only worked well for me if i use the chaff cutter it will take me 14 days if i invite that tractor within 4 5 hours they are done so the work by that outsourcing yes it's uh, slightly expensive but it improves on efficiency so by that time we are doing silage for 14 days the quality of that silage was one thing by the moment we brought the tractor the efficiency the direct cost are reduced the quality of the silage improved and also the milk production improved the crushing was improved so look at the things the in house mechanization and the outsourced mechanization these thing can make you your farm to be inefficient or can make your farm more efficient as simple as and also doing on uh, doing away with some sort of mechan like if you grow your own hay you are, if you grow your own grasses and you want to make hay doesn't make sense to outsource the baling machine you can just cut you rake them very well you store them the way they are in the store so look at if you have been outsourcing ask yourself is it a worthy while outsourcing so there are two aspects look at what can be in house and it must be something that you really need look at what you can outsource and ask yourself are there alternatives but it's not everything you look at it from the perspective of mechanization others you can look at is it unnecessary mechanization like the way i've talked about the hay baling if it's for your own consumption doesn't make sense to bail but if you are selling it makes sense to to bail look at the areas that you can mechanize maybe your logistic issues while delivering milk they are too high you can think of having a milk cooler and then you can supply your milk after 3 days after 4 days makes a lot of sense so look on areas where despite the scale look on the areas that you can mechanize and the future mechanization and also the farm layout by some of us we just place the cow shed here and here you don't have a layout the moment you have that layout it also should be like in 10 years i'll have these machines so you already know where to place them maybe like what i'm talking about the milk cooler maybe it's a milk pasteurizer you already know where you can do that work from so look at the areas that you can mechanize look at the operation that can be mechanized and blend that mechanization with the human uh, labor it will always take you far i hope you have appreciated the role of mechanization in a dairy farm and the way you can put mechanization in a systematic manner and it doesn't have to be more expensive it doesn't have to be more complicated look at it from a very simplistic way maybe it's having a, a simple way of mechanizing your operations it will always take you far uh, uh, before i even forget it's mechanization can be as simple as uh, maybe if you have a big hard size can maybe Uh, your, 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 your people uh, your, your, your human labor eh? they are suffering when feeding their cows it's more laborious 
the feed is bulk it's as cheap as even buying a tuk-tuk that is delivering or maybe a cat the donkey cat eh? or maybe even a donkey that can supply for the directly to the to the to the to the to the feeding trough you know you try and look at it from a very simplistic but it should make your farm more efficient and that efficiency saves you labor cost directly saves you from other cost like that chopping i've said it also minimizes your wastages like for me whenever i chop with my maize with tough cutter my wastages volume goes up but when i use the tractor driven uh, and then you need that chopping that has a crash let me not uh, put it more in a more bigger name eh, by saying a tractor driven but having that uh, chopper that has a crusher it makes my wastage to go down so that a small mechanization saves me cost in terms of the 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 wastages so that one is a very important aspect that you should check in your dairy farm look at it from a very simple way and i've said as simple as even having a software as simple as having a donkey as simple as having a tuk-tuk as simple as having a milk cooler as simple as and actually some of these things you can it blends very well on the topic we did on diversification maybe in your locality people can bring milk like now companies uh, the milk processing companies they're appreciating a uh, chilling of milk you get almost uh, i think uh, one company is doing 1.45 another one is doing per liter another one is doing one shilling another is doing two shilling by that aspect of cooling the milk so by that mechanization the people in your locality can bring milk there the processor comes and takes the milk and then you get your two shilling maybe an electricity cost will be somewhere maybe a shilling per liter and you have a sh an extra one shilling so if it's a five thousand uh, if it's a five thousand liter cooler at least you have five thousand every day in a month you have a hundred and fifty thousand so look on the areas that you can mechanize you can even uh, make your farm more efficient but you can also extend hand to your fellow farmers and it makes business sense for you remember there is no dairy farming minus mechanization and mechanization we are looking for efficiency efficiency you are looking at saving cost uh, directly and indirectly and also avoiding unnecessary uh, expenditures until next time when we'll have another video covering the same journey on a dairy farm startup and restart up until next time see you kwaheri remember to subscribe and leave us a comment tutakutembelea kwa shamba yako ukitwitter for dairy consultancy bye bye